what we're really focused on in this release is trying to make things, uh, I wouldn't say necessarily easier, we, need, we, we want to make things more approachable, uh, yet more powerful. And one of the things that Flash has done, well, since its inception, the core thing about Flash is really this animation, animation model, the ability to create something that moves and, and animates. So we kind of wanted to focus on that again. We wanted to say, what can we do to make that process uh, more powerful, yet easier for people who are just coming into Flash? So what you're going to see now is kind of what we've, we were trying to work on. And I'm, I'm warning you around, those people who are, how many people here use Flash Profession? All right, how many people know how to do a tween? <laughs> All right, not anymore, because we changed it. Now, I think the first reaction is like, oh, what the hell did you do? <laughs> but, so, so without starting off with a super complex application already built, but you're just going to start from scratch, and you'll see very quickly how easy it is to do something. Uh, so let's say we, got, we grab some text, and we say flash, actually, I'll grab some text here. It is cool. All right. And let me crank up the... Uh, Actually, let's do, for, let's do it all. You're going to notice something interesting about our, um, about our UI now. We have this hot text. All right, so we have some text. Now, if you want to animate something in Flash, you guys know the process. Um, let me just create this. Just let me convert this to a movie clip. And at this point, you're thinking, okay, great. Now he's got to go create a movie. Uh, you got to create a keyframe, correct? All right. Let's see how does this work. Why right, just right click? I say create motion tween. I move it. That's it. We simplify the process down a lot. And notice, notice what we see on the stage. There's a path now. It's created automatically. All right. We can do that. Now, obviously, you can go at any point. In, in there and just move it, and we, we will recalculate, recalculate the path and all that, all that work. Um, and so let me do a simple transform here. Well, let's do a, a skew. So you can see that you can do some, some complex stuff here. Now the real question is, okay, what's, what's, the, what's this with the span? It created an automatically span. It's a one second span. Um, why is it one second? Well, we just have to put a default value, but notice how easy when someone says, well, I, want to, I need to resize it. How many of you have been in a project where you've had to resize your, your animation because someone told you it needs to be different? Anyone stuck? Anyone had that problem? All right. Let me see. Have you been able to do this? All right. Well, let's make it shorter. All right. And we recalculate the keyframes in between. So you, don't, you no longer have to sit there and start moving keyframes and moving things around. We take care of it. Much easier. How many of you have ever wanted to reposition a whole animation somewhere else in the stage? All right. How do you do that? Well, today, well, it would take at least 10 minutes to explain how to do it today, but just watch. All right. That we repositioned it. And notice that I can do one thing with the span. Um, I can not only transform the object, I can transform the path. And so now I can actually have a lot more control. So yeah, we changed the animation model, but believe me, it's a good thing. We're making it a lot easier, we're making it a lot more powerful. And, yep, great stuff. And yes, Lee is correct. We do have the ability to also animate in 3D. So if you want to sit there and, you know, throw some 3D into the animation, you can do that. It's just another property in the animation model. So it's going to be that simple. And the last thing I'll show you is, so we've made a lot of work in the span, the ability to kind of control the animation, manipulate it, but still animators, animators still are basically looking at this going like, yeah, but I need precise control. How do I change every attribute independent of one another? Now in the new model, what you don't see in that span is that every attribute you change has its own timeline. 
So they're no longer associated to the previous keyframe. You put a keyframe, you're not affecting the, that property. The scale is not affecting rotation. Um, it's not affecting skew. So everything's independent of one another. But the real question is, then how do I control it? And I'm going to leave you with this. So we now have the ability to kind of look at every property independent of one another. And as you can see, each one of these is its own timeline. You can go and manipulate the keyframes. You can, you can have full control over that animation within this graph. So we not only, not only have made it a little easier to get started, but for the people who want that control, um, in this version of Flash, we've added a lot of control using this new motion editor. Um, so we're pretty excited about being able to finally get this out to you guys. And this is just one of many features we've added in this release. We're really excited about this release uh, because it's all about design, it's all about animation, it's all about graphics. So for those people who have been complaining that we've been kind of pushing the designers off to focus on developers, guess what? This one's all about designers. So uh, we're really excited about it. Cool. But that's pretty much what we wanted to talk to you guys about. We want to thank you for coming in and actually listening to us. Uh, I know sometimes it's difficult. I mean, you, just got to, you guys just want to see demos. But you have to put up with us speaking in between. All right? Um, but I do also want to send out a, a say thank you to Bo. Or, where's Bo? Bo? Oh, he's around here somewhere. There he is. I want to thank Bo for basically keeping the tradition on a flash forward. Um, for bringing it back to San Francisco for, for a change, which has been fantastic. Thank you. Um, and I guess also just for, for letting us participate.